Hey guys, welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Today we're going to talk about the ember tetra, Hyphesobrycon amanda -y. They are a diminutive little species from South America that have been in the hobby for quite a while. In fact, they were one of the first nano fishes I ever kept. They're versatile, colorful, easy to feed, and really just a very nice fish. Let's take a look. Despite these being juvenile fish at under half an inch, you can already see the great color they get. Ember tetras come from the lower Amazon basin, so they really appreciate a planted tank with lots of leaf litter, driftwood, and tannins really make their color pop. A dark substrate will also help make them much bolder orange. Now these guys have only been in the country for a few days and already they're looking fantastic. They can take a pretty wide range of parameters from super soft water to moderately hard and temperatures from 70 all the way up to 84 so they're a great great warm water fish. Now these aren't at sexual maturity yet but when they get there the females are noticeably rounder and the males are much brighter orange. They're pretty easy to breed using spawning mops. Uh, fry hatch in about three days. In my opinion, I mean, they've been around for a very long time, but this is one of those tried and true great species for a smaller aquarium. I tend to group things by region, so I would keep them with pencils, epistos, quarries, things like that, but they're certainly appropriate to be housed with small cyprinids or loaches and things like that as well. All in all, they're a versatile, affordable, colorful little fish that are just fantastic for a smaller aquarium easy to feed, readily accepting flake, frozen, live, or even small pellets. I think they're one that uh, are good for any level hobbyist. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments.